Hello, everybody. Welcome to Springfield, Ohio. I am Jeremy Birmingham. This is Bermanology. This is Aaron Scott. He's just made his college football decision and he's picked Ohio State and now he's going to tell us why. Aaron, congratulations. Thank you. This, we're, we're sitting here on the hottest day of the year in Ohio uh, so far. And for you, I imagine it feels like the heat is finally off mm. a little bit. Um, yeah. How... We'll just start right there. How crazy is it for you to have this now finished? I feel like it's a relief on my shoulders. Don't got to really worry about too much anymore. I can start focusing on this football season. The decision, we talked a little bit uh, on Thursday, and you said you didn't grow up a fan one way or the other in this rivalry. You grew up being an Oregon fan. That said, you grew up in Ohio, mm -hmm. and your family obviously is Ohio State fans. How much more difficult was this process than you imagined it was going to like well, Ohio State offered you a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. right? You could have probably nobody ever imagined it would be as stressful as yeah. it ended up being. Yeah, yeah. What was it ultimately that made this so difficult? And, um, you know, how did how did the people around you ha handle it? When I first got the offer from Ohio State, it was like we were so happy. My my dad, he was in like smiling the whole way back home. And it was like, that's going to end up going there. But then I feel like later on, when Michigan started getting on me, and then the Michigan beat um, O State, and then like people started to talk. And then the Ohio players that I was already close with, they all started going to Michigan, like Jordan Marshall and them. So I feel like that made it more interesting, and made it harder to make a decision. What people don't know is that I was here about three and a half weeks ago. We were just having some conversation, watching you guys work out. You told me then that when you went to Ohio State on your official visit. You went into that visit believing you were going to Michigan. Mm -hmm. Can you take us back to that weekend a little bit and just try to give a little insight into what changed from the minute that you walked onto the campus that weekend that changed your mind so abruptly? Yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, like you said, after the Michigan visit, I loved it. Like, especially like being on Coach Clinic and being around Will Johnson, the players, and yeah, I told myself that that was the place I was going to be go to. But then I already told the coaches, and I stayed by my way. I told the coaches I was going to come there to O State for the o official visit. And Bryce kept hitting me up, told me, let's, let's all go. So I went, and it started like, especially when Bryce and Maya was committed. Uh, at the dinner. At the dinner. Yeah. It's like they hadn't meet a microphone next. So I'm like, I'm in the hot seat in the Marion. I'm like, yeah, it's hot right now. But it made me like really re re remember how I felt when I first got the offer. And it was like, so it made it made it even harder. Come, like, I wanted, I was, I planned to go to Michigan. In my head, I'm like, I'm about to go to Ohio State just to go, not to commit or none of that, just to just go, just yeah. guys, I was gonna go. And then I went there, it made me really fall back in love with him. Like Coach Dave was like, you've been away for a long time, you're starting to remember what it feel like to be here, and that's what made it more harder. You know, you told me back in April when we were in Cincinnati for the Rivals Camp Series that Ryan Day was the head coach you've had the best relationship with. Mm -hmm. And I know, every, you know, as you go through this process, you spend a ton of time talking to Steve Klinkscale, Tim Walton, you know, the cornerbacks coaches around the country. But when you have a relationship like that with the head coach, where you're talking to him all the time, mm -hmm. how much different does that make things? I feel like it makes it more like easy in your decision. Now, I feel like I had a good relationship with Coach Dan Lanning, too, like especially at the official visit. Like my parents, they like that school the most, like that I went to, like official visit wise. Yeah. But having a relationship with the head coach, it's like he the he the one that everything's going by. So if you're just talking to the coaches, the uh like staff coaches, it's not really they got say so, but not that much say so as the head coach. And the head coach, his word, that's gonna go. So if you like want something or something, he's gonna make that happen for you. When did you so official visit goes June twenty third through June twenty fifth. Dead period hits. You told me when I was here a few weeks ago you were gonna disconnect from social media mm -hmm. a little bit. You did for mm -hmm. like a couple of days, but yeah. you're a teenager, that's hard to do. And then you get back on it, you start to see all the crap again. You're, you're seeing basically like full on recruiting pitches from some of the greatest players in the history of the sport. Mm -hmm. You're seeing current players at, at both schools that you're friends with. You're seeing other recruits. How do you as a person tune all that out and focus just on what makes the decision right for you? I feel like coming to football practice made me like clear that out, cause I feel like if I just sit around the, at home, just on my phone and maybe think more, but coming to practice, maybe like realizing I'm just coming, I'm playing here to play football, 
trying to really pay attention to all that for real. So I really just practice helped a lot. So when did you in your mind make the final decision? Because I know there was a tweet, you know, six, seven days ago where you say, hey, I'm still confused. Mm -hmm. What changed and what was the final thing where you woke up one? Was it like you woke up and said, damn it, I know what mm -hmm. I know now. Or what, what led to that final change, final for, decision? For like two, day, two, three days before, I feel like it was just, you just had to pick one. And I feel like I didn't want to let it go longer than I said it was. I want to just focus on the season right now. So for like a couple of days before, I was like, just pick one. And that's the one I was going to go with. So ultimately, what is it about Ohio State that makes that the choice? Like, I, I know that there's all this conversation about the style of defense Michigan runs, the way that they, you know, Will, Will Johnson played a lot as a freshman Ohio State. Maybe you, maybe there's other guys that are, you know, veteran corners. A lot of talk about style of play, press man, all this stuff. Like, you have to trust yourself mm -hmm. and trust the coaches mm -hmm. to, to make that decision. What was it that was the deciding factor? I feel like my family's input, honestly. I feel like they, and like life after football, like say things, like go wrong or whatever, and I'm coming back to, like go to, back to Columbus. All the opportunities is unlimited for real. But talking to my family, and they really didn't care. Like a lot of people was talking about they didn't gonna commit to Ohio State because my father's birthday, that wasn't really the case. Yeah. It was, he didn't care. He he messed with Coach Clink in Michigan too. So it's really my decision, but I feel like talking over with the family, I feel like best best bet for me was just go Ohio State. You know, I think that there's this perception that because your dad is an Ohio State fan mm -hmm. and has always been an Ohio State fan, that he would be, he would have been like mad at you mm -hmm. or something like that. But it, we, we all know that's not how a father mm -hmm. would act. Yeah. He, he would have, he would support you begrudgingly, probably a mm -hmm. little bit, but can you, Tell people the reaction that your parents had when you told them, I made my mind up. They was, they was kind of surprised too, because I told them too, like I went to go to Michigan and they was, they was there for, they didn't really say too much. They like, they was confused too on the visits. Yeah. Like we came back home after the Michigan visit, my day like all shaking their head. They don't know where they want me to go. And I asked them, but my parents wouldn't tell me where they want me to go. Cause they felt like they didn't know what was best for me because it was like two great options. Like, a lot of people don't get how to, opportunity to pick from these top schools so if like either way i went it was a good route with with ohio state with with ryan day with tim walton the defense as, as you see it into the future you talked about bryce west mm -hmm. and the opportunity to play together there that day when him and miles lockhart commit those guys don't know yet mm -hmm. so how excited are you to tell them because i i know from talking to the the guys in the ohio state recruiting class most of them are clueless as to what yeah. you're thinking. And that's the way you've wanted it. Mm -hmm. you've, you've avoided letting other people influence your decision. How, how do you think you're going to tell those guys? I feel like I ain't telling them until they see it, see the, uh, the, the announcement on live or whatever. That's when they're going to figure it out. But yeah, Bryce, when people know hey, Bryce played a big factor. He like one, like not the main reason, but one of the top reasons I'm going here. That's, I want to play with him. We two boys from Ohio. So why not go? Showing what we can do. Again, I don't mean to keep, you know, jumping back in time and forward in time like we're some weird Quentin Tarantino movie. But back at that camp in Cincinnati, you told me you didn't want people to think you were going to Ohio State just because you're from Ohio. Mm -hmm. And that that isn't something that you had to make the decision based around. But it's also not something you can avoid. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. It, as you mentioned, like it, when football's done your life in Ohio will be taken care of forever. Mm, yeah. How do you weigh those things versus like, okay, there, there's this opportunity here for me for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. but there's also, you know, the chance to, to do my own thing or take my own path. Like, does it matter to you that you're from Ohio? No, nah, I feel like, like at the end of the day, you, you this is the, this is the choice. Like, does it matter when you sit down and go, I, I'm a Buckeye. Mm -hmm. this is this is now affecting the rest of my life like that will that matters right yeah i feel like it does i feel like it does a little bit i just didn't see it i didn't like i didn't want to see it or i just didn't see it for real Cause i feel like if i went to michigan i still have opportunities but i wouldn't think i would end up back in ann arbor or whatever yeah. so that's what i was thinking about but i feel like being from ohio i feel like i feel like that's for everybody for real. if you in town you're going like it's going to be more way more much love from then a, a different school I mean, you 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 see Braxton Miller from Springfield, mm -hmm, yeah. a guy who 
had an incredible college career. Didn't pan out as in the NFL like mm-hmm. people would have thought. Injuries and that sort of stuff. But he's Braxton Miller. He yeah. he will never pay for a drink in Ohio mm-hmm. in his whole life. Yeah, yeah. So like, there's that sort of impact that I think is hard to ignore. Mm-hmm. With this decision made, with your high school senior season coming around the corner, what do you do now? What do you focus on? You know, obviously, I, I think the intention is early enrollment. Be there in January. How do you put all this stuff behind you? And now focus on just being, getting better as a player mm-hmm. and being ready. You want to play early, mm-hmm. so how do you get yourself in that position? For like talking to my coach a lot more, like trying to get used to playbook right now, getting on Zoom calls, talking to players that's already up there, like working on certain stuff I need to work on. But I feel like the playbook gonna play a big role. But then really just then going about things like, and I'm not in high school no more. Like I'm about to go to college, so I need to start playing. Like I'm get to the next level. I'm trying to come in and take names and start off rip. So, but yeah, I'm going to be in rolling early. So, for like coming in and uh, showing what we could do. What, how much influence has a guy like Jermaine Matthews had? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you, Jermaine enrolled early. He's a player similar to you, same area, same corner, you know, same position. You're a little taller. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's a lot of similarities mm-hmm. between you two. He's been through it at Ohio State for the first seven months already. What has he been able to tell you? He was your host on your mm-hmm. official visit. What, what did he tell you on that trip to maybe – give you the real about Ohio State. He really didn't, that's my dog. He really like, he wasn't gonna fake it. He's let me know like wherever you go, he was cool with me going to Michigan, Oregon or whatever. He like kept it to real like, wherever you go, I'm rocking with you. But he let me know like, it's different. Like there's love up here. You gonna get a lot of opportunities and to come down and handle business, it's not easy. Let me know like, it's not gonna be easy. Like right now he's still like trying to work for that starting spot. But you come in, you're gonna get your, your chance to shine. It's a new world of college football. Aaron, like you live in a, in a small-ish town in mm-hmm. Ohio where, as we mentioned, opportunities are there forever now. Do you start to look around the city and be like, oh, I'd like an NIL deal with that with that restaurant? Mm-hmm. Like people start, you know, we're going to get mm-hmm. a sandwich named after mm-hmm. you somewhere in town. Like is there yeah. a deli where you can get an Aaron Scott sandwich? No, it might be, but I, I ain't really pay attention to that. I've been too stressed and even think about <laughs> NIL because it's, like, it's like all the same. It's like. My me, my parents, we didn't really like talk too much about the NIL. Yeah. We talked about it, but it wasn't like we not going to here to just to, for the NIL. We didn't really pay attention too much of that. So no, I ain't really pay attention to too much of that. What would be on the Aaron Scott sandwich? I, I'm simple. I'm a piggy eater. I was, I throw some uh some mayo, some cheese, some lettuce, and some uh, meat. But what is the meat of choice? Uh. That's the, this is, these, are the, these are the questions that you have to prepare for. Yeah, I know. I What's know. the deli meat of, of choice on the Aaron Scott slider? I say ham. Ham. I go ham. Okay. I mean, so you're going with cheese? Is it Swiss yeah. cheese or were you an American? I mean, you I go, I, sometimes I switch it up. I'm, I'm starting, we're going to start with it for the Aaron one. We're going to do the Swiss cheese up. That's nice. But it's real basic. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's all about the bread anyway. All yeah, sandwiches oh, yeah. are about the bread. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and now you're going to have time to eat sandwiches. Mm-hmm. You're going to have time to focus on having a girlfriend, uh, being a high school senior, mm-hmm. and celebrating the next part of your life. And uh, we really do appreciate you taking time to, to give us a little bit of an insight into this process. I know this has not been easy for you. And uh, I know that Ohio State fans are sweating mm-hmm. profusely on Sunday. And uh, I think it's cool in some ways that you've been able to maintain this as long as you have without losing your mind. Yeah. So congratulations, man. It's, uh, it's a big moment for you. Uh, Aaron Scott has committed to Ohio State. That is the end of this episode of Bermanology. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.